Hey guys, Higgy Pop here in the comic room. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I am filled with gratitude on this Thanksgiving because of you guys. I finally have someone to ramble on about comics with. Thank you very much. And life is good, man. We got to be grateful. Make a list. Make a little gratitude list. See what you're grateful for. You know what I'm grateful for? You guys. So here we go. We're going to talk about, I just want to nice chilled out Sunday. No, no more antics. All right. Just chill out. Actually, I'm sorry. I got an idea from uh, MSK uh, comic book channel. He, you know, I was going to throw out that Fig Newton and because I rode the wheels off that Fig Newton joke until he gave me a good idea. I, I, I got one more. I think I just have one more. All right. We had uh, Olivia Newton, Hig Newton. We had Sig Newton. It all stemmed from Don Newton. And uh, we had, uh, I mean, the Newtons. But there was one more. All right. Uh, for you uh, sports fans. Here we go. All right. All right. Here we go. This is Cam Newton. All right. Cam Newton. Okay. So uh, if you guys are into the NFL, this is Cam Newton. All right. The last one. That's all we got. All right. Well, today we're going to focus on, I'm going to review. This is something that um, really sparked a flame and got me back into comics. Um, uh, Peter J. Tomasi wrote uh, uh, Black Adam's first ever uh, solo miniseries in 2007, I think. It was called uh, Black Adam Dark Ages. I read that and I says, I got, there's something to this, man. And then I just, that got me right back into where I left off with the JSA. I went back and read all the JSA that started in 2000. And I came right back to where I am fully charged. Woo! Fighting a good fight. Getting comics. And let's look, let's review Black Adam. I mean, this was a fantastic story. Two of my, I must say, maybe two of my most favorite, uh, I can't say my favorite, but my Great, great books are in this series. And I'll tell you why. It all started from... Here we go. This is uh, Black Adam. This is the Justice League of America run right here. All right. This is who we're talking about, Black Adam. This guy, he is... You can, might say he's a bad guy. He's not like a maniacal bad guy. I want to be a uh, rule of the world. He He's a black and white thinker. And um, there is collateral damage. I mean, if you do him wrong, it's like... Sorry, you messed with the wrong dude. That's just the way he thinks, all right? And he was actually on a trial membership with the JSA back in the day. And then there was the story Black Rain, all right? And um, where he, in, his, in his home country, he was a, it was an asylum for superheroes. And he was uh, not hearing it. Uh, people were telling him, listen, you got to cut out, cut out the shenanigans there, uh, Black Adam. But he wasn't hearing it. But Black Adam... Black Adam, uh, Dark Ages. It's a six-issue mini issue miniseries. What happened was it all stems from DC's World War III, all right, where Black Adam, he was living his best life. He was living his best life, okay? And um, he was just chilling out. He had he had a ISIS, his love of, the, of his life, ISIS, and... Isis' his brother, Osiris, okay? There's a whole story that how they came back, and he was happy. Black Adam was finally happy. And then there was this, um, and during World War III storyline, there was this uh, island type of small country where the this science league of some sort. Where's World War III? All right, this is World War III. This is a trade paperback, okay? This science division league run by some crazy woman. It's on Uling Island or something like that. Let me open this. Let's look at this. They make, they create the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Why not? Okay. And, um, and these four horsemen, they killed Black Adam's family, Osiris and his beautiful Isis. And this is where, uh, this is where all the, um, you know, the, uh, it's just where it all happens, man. It's, it's just like, um, it's, uh, so he, he goes there and he destroys the country. He follows one of the horsemen back to this, uh, country in the Middle East 
and he kills like millions of people. It's genocide, and he's a war criminal now. Okay, this is World War Three, and he's a wanted man. Superheroes are the superhero communities after him, and um, I mean, uh, he committed genocide. Look at all the bodies sitting there, because he is angry. We all know about uh, Teth Adam, Black Adam. He's an angry man. And during World War III, after he more collateral damage, he's dis this his wrath of vengeance spans across the whole earth, killing, killing people. Look, he rips this guy's face off, right? And uh, during DC at this time, violence was running rampant. I love. I mean, it was very surprising to me when I started getting back into comics. And um, look at this guy. He's clutching. He's like, where is my face? He's like, is this a hockey game? There's a face off. And um, and it's just, what a story, man. And, and, and of course, they bring in all sorts of characters that I love and that don't get enough attention. But in the end of World War III, everyone's trying to take down Black Adam. Everybody. And uh, it takes, I mean, every, all the characters are in, 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 in it to win it. It takes Shazam, Martian Manhunter, and uh, see, he, they're, they're throwing everything at Black Adam. And he's just dispatching every, there's Hawk and Dove, that version of Hawk and Dove. And uh, there's Terra. He punches a hole through Terra. This is the anger, anger that Black Adam is, is like. So he's just raining hell on everything. And... Um, so what happens at the end, there's the J there is the JSA in all their glory. They're like, this is the showdown. It's the final countdown. And um So uh and Black Adam's all beat up and he's just raging, raging, raging. Right? And uh so long story short, I mean look at him. I mean, it looks like uh me coming in from a, a three night bender. And um I mean he's in rough shape. And um Shazam, Shazam takes away his, uh, I mean, look at this low down drag out fight with Martian, Marshmallow Hunter. And then they all jump on him. They all jump on him. Everybody. Everybody's jumping on him. Alan Scott, all those guys, the outsiders. He's crushing, crushing. And um, Martian Manhunter gets into his brain. As Shazam brings the lightning, right? And uh, he takes away the power of Black Adam's uh, power. And he makes it so Black Adam doesn't know his word anymore. Usually he says uh, Shazam, but he changed Black Adam's word. Black Adam, he's nowhere to be found. And he's roaming the earth now as Teth Adam after this book. And he's a wanted man. And uh, he doesn't know his magic word anymore because Shazam changed it, okay? Thus, Black Adam, the six-issue miniseries um, called Dark Ages. You know, it's hard to think of this stuff. I, I keep trying to think, but nothing happens. And um, so, where was issue number one I had? Where's issue number one? All right. So he wants to resurrect uh, Isis, that's all he wants. He loves Isis. He wants to get her back to life. And he's trying to figure out all these ways to get her back to life. And he ends up hooking up with Felix Faust, that cr crummy wizard. And he makes a Faustinian deal with him. That's what Faust is all about. He's, he's, so Faust sends him on this journey. He can't become Black Adam. He can't fly around and do all these things. So he does it as Teth Adam. He's roaming the earth. And people are looking for him. And uh, so... Uh, Faust wants his magic back, so he sends. Uh, he, Faust always has a, a plan of his own. He's going to double, double, uh, double deal on uh, Black Adam. So Black Adam just wants ISIS back, and he's walking around. He's dragging this corpse around, these bones around the world with him. Here's issue number one. Issue number two is uh, is one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. And it's a. Uh, uh, Doug Mackey does the art on this, and he, he says it's always fantastic. Issue number two, Black Adam, as Teth Adam, the human, is he's sent to the Himalayas, and he meets one of my favorite, 
Bigfoot. All right. Now, Bigfoot in a comic book with Black Adam, that's all I need. And he fights Bigfoot. And then he he wins. Not only does he win, he, he rips out Bigfoot's guts and he repels down a mountain with his guts. Let me show you. This is mind-blowing. Here we go. All right. Boom. There's, there he is, just as Tep Adam, you know. He's just a guy on the curb. He's like, hey, you got you got money for bus fare? And he, um, you know how uh, in Black Rain, the JSA story, he was he was he took a shining to uh, Adam Smasher, Al Al, uh, Al uh, what's his face Rothstein. He um, him and Adam Smasher have a good connection, you know. And uh, here he is dreaming about uh, ISIS, and um, because you know what they are, they're like. Uh, they both have something in common. They're like uh, vengeance pals. They're like vigilante brothers. Because if you think about it, Al, uh, Adam Smasher, got vengeance on the people that killed his mother. And he swapped out his mom's body. That was some. I, this was all in a Justice Society story because his mom blew up in a plane crash. And um, he handled that in a, in a vigilante way. And that's why the Justice Society was like, Adam Smasher, we don't do that stuff, man. And... Um, so he's he's dealing with ISIS, you know. He he can't handle her being gone, the love of his life. So now the Justice Society's looking for him. There's there's Adam Smasher. They're like they're like, man, if we could only find him. So here he is. He's in the Himalayas, right? And there's a Bigfoot going, Rrr! right? And uh, check this out. They they're like, yeah, right, right. So he takes a knife and he guts him. Rips his guts out. See that? And then he takes the guts. He's like, "All right, let me take a. Let's see. Yeah. How many? How much? How much uh, guts you got? Let's see." And he jumps off the mountain with him. He's like, da, 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 da. and he climbs down the mountain with uh, Bigfoot guts. I'm reading this. I'm like, "This is a hell of a comic." And um, and when he gets to the bottom, he cuts the guts. And he drops down to the ground. He's like, <clears throat> all right. Thank you, Bigfoot. You still have about two feet of uh, lower intestine left. You should be good. And um, it's really good. Good stuff. Everyone's in here. They got Superman. They got Batman. And uh, the story is just crushing. And um, Teth Adam, now he's in a neighborhood walking in the rain. He's angry at all times. He steals a car. And there's Felix Faust. Ah, he, Felix Faust is just a bad, bad dude. Bad, bad dude. And um, he threatens him. He's like, don't you ever double cross me, Felix. I'm trusting you. And he pins him shoulder to the wall with a knife. You know, so Adam knows he can't trust him. But he's he, this is all he's got. This is all he's got. He's dragging around uh, Isis's bones. He's like... This, you're all you're all I got, pal. And um so Felix says, I found a way to make you temporarily become black out of boom, he becomes black out. Boom. Alright, that's issue number two. And when he becomes black Adam, they could get a bead on where he is. So that's the bad part. So he's like, I'm gonna become black Adam, I'm gonna fly over here. He's like, I'm gonna do it temporarily, but then they get a bead on him and they can find him. That brings us to issue number three of Black Adam Dark Ages. There's our boy Hawkman! This is the best. This is one of my favorite comics. The fight scene is savage! Yes! And um, boom! He's Black Adam again. He's like, oh, the power. The power I feel. He's like, I miss this. Right? And he's like, yes! So, he st stared at Felix. He's like, do not double-cross me. I swear to God. All right. So then, he, uh, Felix does some more uh, wizardry, dark arts on him. All right. And, uh, and he, he leaves the bones with him. He's like, I I gotta run some missions. All right, so he's flying around. He goes by a a jet 
the people in the jet are looking, going, "Oh my God, who's that? Is that Black Adam? Didn't he just kill a country?" And um, oh, he also tried to bring the bones to the Lazarus pit, and it didn't work. He's 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 trying everything, Black Adam. So now he breaks into a, a museum. Okay, and there he is. Carter Hall meets him. He's like, put down the flashlight there, Teth Adam. Look at it in all his glory. Doug Minkie is an artist. Almost like my boy Rob Brown. Rob Brown! He's bad, bad Robert Brown. Uh, Robert E. Brown is the baddest man in the whole damn town. And uh, they're like, Hawkman's like, you're coming in with me, pal. And uh, he doesn't know that Teth Adam can turn into Black Adam, I don't think. So he's just like, you're coming with me, pal, all right? Then all of a sudden, they're talking silly, like, you know, just, you know, give up the fight. You know, ISIS is dead. You killed millions of people. You're wanted. Then all of a sudden, boom! And here we go. Savage. And Hawkman's like, oh, boy. We got to do this the hard way. Right? He goes, so you did find the word, hmm. He goes, obviously. Good, I'd rather face you this way, Hawkman says. Yes! And then we go, Ugh! Hawkman gives him a good boom. And then, crack! Black Adam with the elbow to the hawk beak. And then, crash! Hawkman drives him through the wall. Hawkman's like, we're not doing this inside the museum. You're going to break stuff. And then, haha, <laughs> Black Adam pushes a big brick wall into Hawkman's face. And then Hawkman's like, oh boy, ah, oh, Jesus, ah, oh, bricks, I hate bricks. And then Black Adam, he's in, he's like, I'm out of here. And, but Hawkman's like, I'm fast. Because Hawkman is awesome. He's in hot pursuit. And then he gets him in the chokehold with his mace. He says, Black Adam says, ah! And Hawkman goes, Arr! not finished talking yet, Adam. And uh, Black Adam Gives him the reverse headbutt and um, grabs his mace and smashes it and punches Carter Hall in the face. Carter Hall is not happy with that. So now it's a slugfest in the air. Look at this. Look at this. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Boom. Slugfest. Boom. He rips off Hawkman's one of his wings. Ouch. Slugfest. And then Hawkman is in savage mode. Savage mode. And then they stare down. Uh, I will read. Hawkman says, Well, we'll get you, Adam, you son of a, a bitch. On a wing and a prayer, Carter Hall. And a wing and a prayer. And he drops him. He drops Carter. Carter, and he flies off. Okay. And then Hawkman crash into a parked car. Right? And the people are like, it's Hawkman. Is he dead? What do we do? He's moving. He's alive. And Hawkman's like, uh, ask a favor? Uh, sure, sure. Hawkman, anything. Can I use your cell phone? Hawkman did his best. So... Now, at the Legion of, at the Hall of Justice, they all gather. They're like, listen, we don't want another World War III. We got to bring this boy in. And there's Teth Adam. He's uh, naked. All right. Just a great issue. Issue number three. Black Adam Dark Ages. All right. And then he gets, boom, boom, boom. As he's Teth Adam, he gets shot. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And he's just laying in the puddle. What happened? All right. I don't want to give it all away. Give it all away. Here's issue number four. All right. Issue number five. Guys, do yourself a favor. If you see this stuff, gather it all together and read Black Adam Dark Ages. And issue number six. I'm not going to go over everything about Black Adam. Just Black Adam the Dark Ages. 
And, um, you know, Black Adam goes through all, all the stages of grief in this. He goes through everything. And at the end, I think, just not to spoil it too much, he, it comes down to acceptance. Because Felix Foss did not help him out. All right. And uh, right around that time, there was a Justice League of America one shot for Black Adam in all his glory. But the history between Justice Society and Black Adam and Black Adam and Hawkman and Black Adam and my reintro into comics, which I can't thank Black Adam enough. And, and Mr. Tomasi. Because it was just great. It was just great. And uh, it's been a great ride, man. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. All right? Guys, happy Thanksgiving. I just wanted to share a little uh, story. And there it is, man. Read your comics. They do make you smart.